Welcome. It is my pleasure to show you today and present you our new product, COMO. COMO stands for Contamination Monitor and has been developed to measure precisely radioactive nuclides in samples like food, meat, milk, drinking water, wastewater, earth and many, many other materials. This video has the purpose to give you a short overview of the possibilities and how easy it is to measure samples in just less than 10 minutes. That's why I will not show you too much details and not all options which are possible with our contamination monitor. It's very simple to place the detector inside the measuring chamber. You fix it with one screw underneath, place first the copper shield and then Simply take one ring after other of the lead shielding. That gives you also a possibility if you had a contaminated sample to clean it very well. That was it. Before I show you now how to measure any sample, let's have a look at the parts of our Como monitoring system. The Como, in fact, consists of three main parts. First, the Como mechanic which you can see here, in fact. Second, inside of the measuring chamber, we have our gamma spectrum probe, GSP02, which is usually, we are using a three inch sodium iodide scintillator. And third, we run our Como software on any Windows, PC or notebook, at least from version seven on upwards. Okay, let's have a closer look to the Como mechanic pads. The first thing which jumps right in our eyes is the massive 35 mm thick lead shielded measuring chamber. This measuring chamber sits on a robust plate and consists inside also our gamma spectrum probe and underneath it has wheels for being able to place our measuring uh, system to any place we want to measure our samples. So the crank, very simply, we open the cover of our lead shield, shuffle it over, put it up, and now we have full access to the inside of our measuring chamber. Inside, I just have here our Marinelli beaker with mushroom samples which we want to measure. Underneath, I see the top of the Gamma spectrum probe, GSP02. And to measure, we simply place the Marinelli beaker on top of our probe, close the lead camber, and make sure our probe is connected with our USB converter cable to our notebook. On this notebook, it runs our Como software and is also powering the gamma spectrum probe with electricity. So now we are ready to start our measuring process. To start the measuring process, I go to my notebook, open my Como software, and just follow the instructions of our software. It's that simple. So now, first we have to do and open our Como software. Press on the button, we enlarge the window, and now you see all <coughs> what the software has for buttons and I explain you each field. Here we find a big white screen a window which says no data available. Here we will see the spectrum once we have done a measurement. Um, from top to the bottom we have here background measurement, sample measurement, the measurement settings, the nuclide list, the protocol, and down we have four buttons, connect, configuration, print and save. <coughs> and the last line is our statues line, uh, where we see the statues of our probe. Here we see the serial number, 4711. We see the statues is now, our probe of comb is not connected, that's why it says disconnected. 
we see the statues of the alert, we can see um, where did we uh, plug our probe on the COM port 9 and the last data. To start, first we have to connect our probe, press the button, now it's trying to connect, it's checking if the probe is ready and it takes a little bit of a while but soon it should jump to green then we know it's connected okay now it's green says connected if I want to disconnect I press the button on top again um, then we can do some configurations what can we do we can change the COM board the moment we use COM9 it's the only one available for which our probe is also plugged now via the USB cable um, with the baud rate and the device address. Measurements on top now is fixed um, installed already that we use a one liter beaker for the moment. Later on you can choose different kind of volumes for the beaker and for your probe. The measurement duration for the background um, we will say 150 seconds that should be enough to get an appropriate measurement of the background and 100 seconds for the sample. We want that the background measurement should be available for 200 minutes and it should warn us um, 20 minutes before the end of the background measurement time. What does it mean? It means we don't need to measure the background all the time once we've done a a good background measurement like we do first, we can use it for the next 200 uh, minutes and uh, why that it's comparing with different samples we are measuring within the next 200 minutes. Then after this time it's better to do a new measurement. We save it but also we have another field here, Mischgelenos. Here um, when I want to, to save my um, spectrums, when I press the save button, I tell them where should it be uh, put the file on, on which place on my computer. I have a base name, it says test. I've said um, a laboratory name, Richard Nuclid Laboratory, and I said location should be Vienna 1220. We save it. Now, when we look at the measurement settings, we see the measurement time um, of the background is 150 seconds. For the sample we chose 100 seconds and the beaker we are using is a 1 litre volume beaker for our sample. So now we have seen since we have connected um, our probe of the Como that the measuring background field is now green and we could start to measure the background first. What we cannot do, we can press the measurement sample, it's red, first we have to do the background. Now we are measuring the background by just simply pressing the button measuring background. Now what we can see on our computer is that a pop-up window appears and asking us are you sure that the Marinelli beaker is empty. Okay, let's go back to the Como and check out if we really have an empty measuring chamber. We opening the cover, shuffle it to the side, look inside and what I find is I forgot my Marinelli beaker with my samples. So we have to remove it. Make sure, check again, fine. Now the measurement chamber is empty. Let's close it. Just go back, press the button OK and the measuring of the background is just starting. The statues showing us now the measuring time will be taken around 150 seconds and we see the first results of a spectrum for the background. Now we have some 40 seconds left um, and it will show indicate our measured background. In the meantime I can show you here the nucleate list. This is a recommendation of nucleates which should be measured by the WHO um, indicating in foods and other materials which are interested nucleates to be checked. Um, we see iodide 131, rutetium 103, cesium 134 and 137 and potassium 40. In the meantime, 
the background has been measured and is disappearing um, because now it's making a clear window for the measuring of the sample but if you want to see the background we press the button and hold it and we see the spectrum of the measured background. On top we see we still have 196 minutes uh, it's the valid time so it goes to 4 around 4 o'clock p.m. We can use the background without measuring a new one. Now it's time to measure our sample. We simply press the button sample measuring. Again a pop-up window is appearing and asking us make sure your sample is inside the measuring chamber. Of course I've taken it out before so I have to place it inside. We open the top of our measuring chamber shovel it aside, take our sample, place it inside on top of our gamma spectrum detector GSP02 and again close the cover and then go back to our software and just by hitting the OK button the measuring of the sample is starting automatically. The measuring process is starting now, we see OK, the first spectrum and will take around 100 seconds until we get an accurate result of our measurement of the sample. We see some few seconds are left. Um, what I can show you as well is the protocol. Um, the gray uh, fields are not for you uh, to change, but you can write here for this probe, you're just measuring now a type the customer name, who is doing the measurement, the sample weight, the sample date, the weight, the volume and so on. Alright, now we see statues, the measuring is of our sample is finished and we get an indication in red that the sample is contaminated with IOD-131. We got the spectrum and also on the, our nucleot list we see highlighted IOD-131 in Becquerel per liter is 500, is around 507 Becquerel per liter was measured and indicating a contaminated sample. You see also the netto counts and you see as well the limited detection for the Becquerel per liter. Um, since the measurement is ready we have now these two buttons available and can say now either we print or and save the spectrum. Let's print now. We have here um, the document which will be printed. We have a unique ID number. We can now, if we didn't um, already fill it out in the protocol I've shown you before, now we can write the type, the customer, operator. Uh, we see when was the background measured and the date uh, of the measurement um, for our probe. We see we could put now the date of the sample, um, the weight and so on. We see the measurement parameters, the location, the beaker type, the measuring time of the background and the sample and the result of course which says the sample is contaminated with IOD 131 and in the bottom, here we see the whole list of isotope which was measured. And at last we see um, the spectrum. Okay, let's print now. You can either print right on your printer on paper. Here we want to store it as well and print it as a PDF. And we say the unique number 799974 and say storage. Close it. Now we also want to save the spectrum uh, for later opportunities to see it. Press save. It has stored it now on the place I have saved in the configuration. Say OK. Actually that was it. We can go now maybe and look at it. We have here saved the PDF can print it anytime now. Also I could open uh, the spectrum 
for later on and have this also stored whenever I need it with the date when it was taken serial number of the probe the unique ID number and the date we have seen how the software works let's see what else can I tell you about the Como I've just shown you how easy and simple it is to measure any sample you would like to find out is there contamination or not with our Como contamination monitor. Let's summarize the advantages of our measuring system. Our contamination monitor Como makes very accurate measurements and that in a very short time, less than 10 minutes and you get your accurate results. Also, we have seen how simple it is by using our Como software um, to make the measuring process. You just follow the software and it's leading you through the whole process. That saves a lot of time for training of your users. Very simple. And, but last but not least, um, our gamma spectrum detector, which is now inside our Como, can just be removed with a screw, with one screw, take it out, and you use it with our gamma tools, and you have a mobile gamma spectrum detector, and can go out in the field or wherever you want to make in situ measurements. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and if you're interested, please get in contact with us. Thank you and goodbye.